If you're burdened down tonight trying to fulfill the law, I've got good news for you. Christianity is not a new law. It's not replacing the old law with a new law. It's replacing law with person. And the first thing you encounter, and you're encountering him right now if you have ears to hear, the first thing you encounter is you meet Jesus as one who says, Matthew 3.15, it is fitting that we should fulfill all righteousness. And he does. He comes right into the human role, and he's baptized. And at every point, he does what we could not do perfectly, perfectly. Every place the first Adam fell, he did not fall. Every failure to trust, he trusted. Every disobedience, he obeyed. And as the second Adam, I now, by faith alone, am united to him, and all of his righteousness is mine. And that's not all that he did. But when he died, Galatians 3.13, he became a curse for us as it is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on the tree. So now he's done two massive things for me, this Christ that I meet first on my way to some do's and don'ts in the Bible. The first thing he has done is fulfill all the demands of the law that I cannot fulfill. And the second thing he's done is bear the curse for all my failures so that a righteousness is provided and a substitute curse is endured. And I am the freest of all people in the Holy Spirit now.